The bone fields is composed of two parts, the body and the stilet. Okay? The body, we can adapt it to an optical font for, the, for light and optical to view the procedure. It can be attained mechanically, viewing directly from the bone field optical device or to a, a camera that can be adapted. Okay, how do we adjust the tube to the bone field? We introduce it and then we use the screw device to adapt the tube at the entrance of the bone field. As we can see, the stilet has to be at the margin again at the end of the tube. It doesn't, it cannot pass the tube. Okay, so we cannot adapt the bone field like this because there is the risk of traumatizing the airway. So we have to adapt it at the very end of the tube. Afterwards, using a laryngoscope, you create a space between the larynge, like this, and then we introduce bone fields at the right corner of the mouth. We progress it along the lateral wall until we arrive at the larynx. When we arrive it, we stop at the entrance of the glut. We never enter the trackway of the bone fields. At this position, we permit the tube to slide into the trachea. Okay. And the patient is